You may not know this, but Google has a whole bunch of generative AI helpers built directly into Google search. All you have to do is know how to enable it. This can help you do things like find the best bike for a five mile commute and show you actual search results generated by generative AI. To get started, jump on over to labs.google slash SGE. You can see they tout this as a new way to search with generative AI. They do note that this is a new experience and that it's currently only available in the US and specifically if you're English speaking. Now, in order to get this on iOS or Android, you can tap the labs icon in the latest version of the Google app and that's up in the upper left hand corner. Some of the features that we're going to explore here are find what you're looking for in an easier and faster way. This is interesting because you can ask it questions like what's better for a family with kids under three and a dog, Bryce Canyon or Arches National Park. It's going to actually tell you the results, but on top of that, it'll allow you to ask follow up questions and then it helps you explore and take the next steps. It's going to show you actual resources that you can use on the web to make your research and your planning a little bit easier. But to enable this, all you have to do is click on get started in the upper right hand corner. It's going to open up this second page and there are two different options you can select here and you can turn them on with these little toggle buttons here. SGE generative AI in search. This is going to enable generative AI at the very top of every one of your searches. SGE while browsing, this is going to open a sidebar that allows you to view generative AI results anytime you're browsing a third party or an external website. Now to get started, we can simply click on try an example. That's going to load up a Google search. How heavy should a weighted blanket be for an adult? And you can see right here at the top where we used to have this generated snippet that Google used to provide. We have this new generative AI is experimental and learn more. You can click on show more and it's going to actually expand out. It says a weighted blanket should be about 10% of your body weight. It shows you resources or actual articles that it crawled in order to sort of generate this. And then it shows you some shopping results that look like they go through probably Google Shopping. If you scroll to the bottom here, you can see that you can ask follow-up questions and it even suggests a few follow-up questions for you. Are weighted blankets good for adults? It's a good question. We could click on that. These are generated by other people that have gone through these searches and sort of asked follow-up questions. Google has a ton of information related to search queries, so I think they can do a pretty good job at making these relevant. Now, if you didn't quite get the information you needed, you could also ask a follow-up question here, or even an entirely new question. Explain the general theory of relativity to me like I'm five. You see it's generating at the top of the results. You still get the normal search results down below. Then it's going to say the theory of relativity is a theory of gravity that was developed by Albert Einstein as two parts, special relativity and general relativity. Very cool. And then again, as always, you can dive in and ask additional follow-up questions or do a completely new search. This is going to come up at the top of every single one of your search results that you perform from now on. And if you're on the Google homepage, you'll notice down at the bottom, it has this new box that says, try AI powered overviews when you search, you fish sleep at night, how to get started tufting a rug. It's interesting. Or you can click refresh. It's popcorn associated with movies and it'll just pull up all those results for you. The other cool thing you can do here is similar to Dolly 3 or even Bing Image Creator, you can also use this to generate images. So we could say generate an image of a dolphin. You'll notice by default, it just pulls up all the images from Google image search, but at the very top now, it does have this generate button. I think they do this so that they don't waste CPU time. They don't have to generate an image every single time somebody does an image search because it's pretty expensive for them to do that. So when you click generate, this is when it's actually going to run the calculations and generate a stable diffusion image related to that prompt. And you can see here, the results are pretty decent. I would put this on par with maybe Dolly 2. You're not going to get mind blowing results from this, but you know, they're doing their best. They're trying to play catch up, I think, to all the others that are out there in the field. And it's cool that you can do this directly in Google image search. Now you can, as always, follow up here. So you could ask it to generate a different image or you can click on one of these images. It opens up this sidebar with a higher resolution version. You can export that so you can actually download this or even save it to your Google Drive. You could share it so you could share it on social media or via email, whatever you want to do. And you can vote up or vote down. Presumably this is how they improve quality of the results over time. So the more feedback you can give here, the better their image generation is going to get over time. 
You're also going to see some Google image search results down at the bottom related to the query that you put into the prompt. So in this case, we're seeing a whole bunch of other images of dolphins, and it looks like they're linked to the actual websites that they came from. And if you click on the edit button, it opens up a new page with just the generative AI art. You can see you can scroll through all of the different pictures that have been generated, and you can even update your prompt. So I could say an image of a dolphin jumping over a house. Generate images for that. All right, not bad. Kind of weird, but you can see there's an image of a dolphin jumping over a house in the first one. Second one is just jumping in the air. The third one, it looks like it's almost a model house or kind of a tilt shift photo of a dolphin jumping over a house. And then the fourth one, it's this house with a gigantic wave coming through the center and what looks to be this massive dolphin jumping over it. If you want to download one of those images, simply click on it, it opens up a larger version. Now, the other cool thing you can do here is if you put your cursor back in the prompt box, you can click this little magic wand, help me write with more detail. So if you click on that, it's going to say a dolphin jumping over a house in the ocean. The dolphin is blue and white and the house is red and white. The sun is shining and the water is blue. So it gives it a little more detail, a little bit more guidance with the prompt. See if it's any better. All right, it did seemingly follow the prompt a little bit better. All four of them have a house. The house is red and white in each one. It's still not very realistic. I mean, the quality of these images is just not up to par with kind of the state of the art of stable diffusion and generative AI, but it's still pretty cool that you can do this one for free and two directly within Google. Let me know what you think in the comments below about Google's new generative AI tools. And if you want to check out an even better free image creator that's powered by Dolly 3, you can check out Bing Image Creator. I've got videos on that subject as well. And just so you don't miss out on anything in the future, be sure to hit like and subscribe. I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. Thank you all so much. We'll see you next time.